Hey everybody, T-Man here, bringing you guys another video, and this video is going to be about my thoughts of CM Punk signing with the UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship. Alright guys, um, alright, CM Punk, uh, boy is he ever <laughs> making headlines right and left, man. Uh, last week it was uh, his controversial uh, podcast with Colt Cabana, talking about... Uh, about his WWE days and a lot of controversial stuff about the business. And then this past Saturday at UFC 181 um, announced um, on during the live UFC pay-per-view that he has signed uh, with the UFC and he's going to be fighting starting sometime in uh, 2015. Um, okay, so well, what do I think about this? First of all... Um, before I get started, yes, I do watch the UFC. I am a longtime fan. I've been watching since uh, 93 when it really began. When I was a kid, I was watching them. My grandfather used to order the pay-per-views. And I probably became mostly like diehard into the UFC probably around 2002, 2003. Turned to Tito Ortiz and Chuck Liddell days. That's when I really got diehard into it. You know, I don't really get into UFC too much because this is more of a wrestling channel. Uh, but just to let you guys know, if you guys ever want, uh, if you guys are UFC fans, mixed martial arts fans, I watch Bellator. Um, I watch all those other ones. Uh, um, that's out there uh, um, the World Series of Fighting I keep up with with all of MMA um, so if you guys ever want, will want me, uh, my opinion on a UFC fight I would be happy to pump one out for you but but this is mostly a, a wrestling channel but I would be happy to pump out MMA videos if you guys would like but okay uh, this particular topic here is CM Punk um, okay here's how I feel about this great move on the UFC on, on uh, uh, UFC President Dana White uh, he knows how red hot CM Punk is right now and this is going to do big things for the UFC numbers for pay-per-view buy rates I mean CM Punk brings a lot of people with him so so you're gonna get all those MMA fans that's really uh, that, that's really curious to see how CM Punk's gonna do whether he's gonna get his ass kicked or what's gonna happen here and also you're gonna get a lot of wrestling fans that maybe do not watch the UFC or are curious to see CM Punk trying his new em endeavor here I'm going to be watching this so it's very smart on, on Dana White's part now I can see a lot of people being angry because CM Punk has no fight experience and this is really a different case than the Brock Lesnar situation because with Brock Lesnar he only had one fight going in the UFC, but the main difference between Brock Lesnar and CM Punk is Brock Lesnar had the amateur wrestling background. Okay, he he was an NCAA champion. He was a beast of a college wrestler. Okay, and I mean the guy was a natural born athlete. I mean Brock Lesnar and the CM Punk is completely different uh, uh, cases here. So when Brock Lesnar came in, he came in during the right time in the heavyweight division in the UFC when it wasn't that. Stacked. Now, CM Punk, I believe he's going to get his ass kicked. <laughs> you know, um, the UFC, like, I, I mean, there's one thing of, you know, being a fan of the sport. I mean, CM Punk has always been a fan of the UFC. He's always went to a lot of events. I mean, at one time he was supposed to... Um, a company Chael Sonnen out to the fight back in Chicago. I believe it's when Chael uh, fought Michael Bisbing, and uh, CM Punk was supposed to accompany uh, Chael Sonnen to the ring, and and uh, WWE didn't like that, and they said no, we don't want you to do that. So he he's been a fan for a long time, but like I said, there's a difference between being a fan and wanting to try uh, try try your hand in MMA. And go into the big leagues. The UFC is the biggest of the big leagues of fighting. I mean, you've had other professional wrestlers try to go into uh, uh, MMA, like uh, uh, Bobby Lashley, who who is kind of more successful. Um, he 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 goes. He, he fights in Bellator, and he does okay there. And he's wrestled uh, in other organizations, and and he's done well. And uh, Dave Bautista. Tam, uh, may of you guys may have not known, Batista uh, kind of got his foot wet and I think fought in a really small indie promotion. He trained for it a while. He, he just wanted to get it out of his system. And I, I think that's the best comparison to uh, CM Punk 
if you want to compare it, is more to the Batista because you know Batista, you know, wasn't a uh, a wrestler or anything like that. He was just a fan, and he started training, and he wanted to get his foot wet. And Batista, I think, did the right approach. You know, he just went to a smaller promotion and got it out of the system because it's something he always wanted to do. With CM Punk, what he's doing is very dangerous. I mean, he's not a natural born fighter, you know, he's a professional wrestler and yes, he has jiu-jitsu experience. I mean, um, it's been known for a long time and he even said on the UFC pay-per-view that CM Punk is uh, has been training under somebody, I think a Gracie or something, a jiu-jitsu for quite some time uh, and uh, um, he, he also uh, has a, a background in Kempo. <clears throat> And uh, another fighting, and he says um, that he's going to be uh, do. This is his new career. This is not a stunt, and he's going to be trying his hardest. So I mean, best of luck for for CM Punk and Dana White. He said that he's not going to feed him to the wolves because I mean, God, anyone in the middleweight division. I mean, if you're in the UFC, it means you're the cream of the crop of of that sport and then that division if you're in the ufc it means that you're one of the best okay i mean because if you think about it there's mixed martial arts promotions everywhere and the ufc they only get the cream of the crop cm punk is not the cream of the crop they getting him because i understand like i said it's a marketing you know they know that he's going to bring a lot of pay-per-view buy rates and I, and i'm sure cm punk is getting paid quite well i mean he, he's getting paid um more than he would at any other per fight promotion so i mean it, it's a good move and dana white said that he's not going to throw him to the wolves he's not going to give him like one of the top uh, uh contenders or nothing in, in um the middleweight division he's not going to give him like a Ro luke rockhole or chuck ray Sosa or somebody like that tim kennedy um you know, he said that he wants to give him either a, somebody with like a 1-0 and record, a 2-0, and 2-1, and something along those lines. And uh, um, I don't think they really have anybody in the middleweight division like that. Um, I think uh, they're going to probably have to bring somebody in to fight CM Punk. I mean, I think the guy with like the lowest fight record in the middleweight division is like 5-1, and one. Four and two, uh, and I, I forgot their names. I was looking at, at the website just to see because when he said that, I'm like, man, who who are they going to bring? But I'll tell you, everyone in the middleweight division is going to want their crack at CM Punk because it's probably going to be a pay per view. Dana's probably going to make people uh, buy this pay per view to see CM Punk to either see him get his ass completely handed to him or see him succeed. And uh, um, everyone's going to want to fight him. Like I'm, I'm sure all the top names are going to be in bid, and even guys that's not even in the UFC. It's kind of funny. Um, I was reading the green Mighty Morphin Power Ranger from the past. Uh, David Frank, or I forgot Jason uh, David Frank. I don't know what the fuck his name is. Uh, but anyways, the green Power Ranger from the from the 90s TV show, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, wants to fight CM Punk in his UFC debut. And I thought it was kind of funny him challenging him for a UFC debut when you're not even in the UFC, you stupid retarded fuck. I mean, but hey, I mean, if you if you want a freak show, I mean, God, Dana White used to talk about the Pride Days, um, uh, Pride Championship being freak show. Man, if, if you want a lot of people to pay money and have a freak show, man, go ahead and get the Power Ranger, man. It's the Power Ranger against CM Punk. What the hell? But uh, um, it should be very interesting. His first his first fight should be a hell of a ticket, no matter who he fights. And uh, I hope for CM Punk's um, sake that, you know, I, I really do believe he's taking this serious. I mean, he said on his interview at UFC 181 that he likes the fact that he's going to get back what he puts in. You know, he knows it's all on him. It's not like WWE where he could be mad at creative or whatever. There is no creative. You fight, you win. If you win, you advance. If you don't, you know, you stay where you are or you leave. He knows it's all on him. And I think this is what he wants. But, you know, you got to remember, he's not a young guy. He's 36 years old. I, that is kind of old for, um, for 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 a fighter in this in, in that sport, you know. I mean, yeah, there is guys in the late thirties and early forties that fight, but man, they get started at that late of an age. 
Man, I mean, I, I wish him best. And the funny thing about it is he hasn't even announced what fight camp uh, he's going to be fighting out of. I mean, it should be very interesting to see uh, where he's going to be training. I mean, he's not even started training at a fight camp. They had, yeah, he's training his jiu-jitsu. He said this Kempo and all this other stuff. Uh, but he ha he's not even in a camp yet. And I'm like, wow. It should be really interesting. And by the way, it's not for sure that he's going to be in the middleweight division. He said, you know, he's going to make a, uh, um, a practice run at it and see how he is. But 170 welterweight division is not completely out of the picture either, uh, out of the question. So, man, good luck, CM Punk. I mean, Dana White, congratulations. You know you're going to get one hell of a pay-per-view buy on that. But uh, that's all I have to say about that. So uh, um, congratulations for CM Punk and Dana White. Um, even if, Dan uh, if CM Punk lands up getting his ass kicked and not winning a fight, you know that CM Punk's going to win a lot of money. Uh, he's going to get a lot of money for these fights. And the UFC is going to get a lot of money on pay-per-view buy rates too. So, so it's a win-win situation for both companies. I understand the partnership. And I wish CM Punk the best of luck. Uh, I, I don't want to see him get his ass kicked, but I have a feeling that's probably probably what's going to happen unless he's just uh, um, a natural at this and he's he, he is an athlete you know CM Punk um, wrestling is fake uh, but they do a lot of um, athletics things in that ring you know especially CM Punk he's very athletic and very skilled you know it, it, yeah it, it's fake but what you do uh, in that ring all the faking acrobatics and uh, um all the stuff that that wrestling entails, you know, that's real, you know, athleticism that they show. So uh, hopefully uh, that'll be enough for them. So good luck, CM Punk. Uh, but until then, guys, this will conclude my CM Punk video, and I will be pumping out more videos for you really soon. Until the, till the next one, I'll see you for the next video.